for the PDP. Jordi, we are keeping track on you. Please be on time. First of all, Ariel, can everyone hear me? When the staff will present an impact analysis, we usually have a few minutes um, to respond. Uh, if you have not contemplated this yet, um, let me know. No, no, yes, I, that's why I said we have one minute for feedback, one minute for feedback. All right, so let me begin with my presentation. I'll try to do it as quickly as possible to have more time for discussion. This proposal is uh, uh, this already version six of this proposal, of course. Uh, well, we began in 2019 as the number states and the idea is to have an electoral process that fulfills our needs to solve some of the problems that we have found throughout these years. What I will now describe is not the full text of my proposal. You'll find that on my slides that I have uploaded on LACNIC's website and of course on the proposal's website as well. Uh, PDP, for those who are not aware of it, there are basically two sections with regards to the electoral procedure. The first one is 3.22, stating who the moderators can, are or can be, and 3.23 uh, as to how they are elected. We are proposing changes only in these two sections. As I said before, we have seen several times how electoral procedures were maliciously interfered and therefore we cannot operate as we should in the list uh, in the policy list and the objective is very clear it is only to discuss subject matters associated with the proposal it's not about discussing voting so the list of policies cannot be used for electoral campaigns so to speak and let's be very clear about it so based on these events that have happened several times, we have discovered these mistakes. And what we're trying to do with this proposal is to prevent those from happening again and even preventing fraud in the electoral process. Fraud in the electoral process Unlike consensus, this is uh, there are voting moderators are elected by a number of votes. So if there were fraud, I mean, since the 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 list is our polls, someone might ask maybe 100 people to sign up to that list so they can vote for them, and that's one of the things that we are trying to avoid. And which, well, to be honest, we have seen situations. Uh, of that nature, although they have not been successful, but we know that that has happened. So what we're trying to do is to prevent actions of this nature and also promote diversity. So changes when compared to the past version, I don't want to repeat what I have said before, I will just describe the changes from the previous version. Section 3.22 about moderators. I In the past, I spoke about uh, companies. I said that moderators could be members of companies. And I said that it would actually be more fit to say organization, because may, maybe some members or some participants do not belong to a company, but they belong to an organization. Of course, they are both included. Uh, the, maybe it's not a company, but it's an organization, but of course it is not necessary that the moderator is part of any organization at all. The idea with regards to the election of the moderators is to, to make official the fact that the candidates' comments cannot be included in the list. And also as a result of the last impact assessment, I have made some changes. For example, to avoid clashes with other electoral processes that are managed by LACNIC, for example, um, dates of different holidays or bank holidays, I have eliminated from the proposals all the deadlines and I have worded in a way that it will not create any conflict. We have also simplified to really a minimum how to the in the event of a tie so we have taken out all of that content to make it as simple as possible 
these uh, changes came about, of course, based on the discussions of our last forum, but also with the recommendations of the impact assessment. If we want to see what the election process would look like, we have a first stage where there are proposals and candidacies are presented, then the candidates that are accepted, and we would have a consultation, stage number two. That consultation, it's not mandatory, but it could be, I mean, the board could publish relevant information. I don't know if that will be something that we'll do uh, routinely, but it could be something to consider and that publication needs to be permitted. If, for example, in the news, someone, we hear about the news that someone's been detained due to terrorism or something like that. Of course, we need to, to learn that information because they can no longer be a candidate. And then we will continue uh, a process, a seven day process to, to vote. It is the voting itself. We need to vote. We have not changed that at all. And if there was a tie, which is difficult, but we could go to a second round with the two candidates that have tied regardless of the percentages. And to make it more simple, it's about the number of votes. Digamos formal se hace en el foro público. Eh, mm -hmm. Referencias, no lo voy a leer, simplemente comentar muy rápido. Eh, no tengo un contador, con lo cual no me he dado cuenta del tiempo que llevo, pero bueno, me quedan dos diapositivas. Un minuto te queda, 55. Perfecto. Básicamente comentar que este procedimiento es similar a lo que se está haciendo en otras regiones. So this etc. is similar to what is being done in other regions. Uh, and uh, so ideas uh, were adopted from other regions. They were not being done here. I won't uh, get into details. This is the impact analysis. And now, now I'm uh, going to stop my uh, shared screen so that the, the staff can uh, take the floor. Thank you, Jordi. Now we are going to invite Maria Roja of the staff of LACNIC who will present the impact assessment in just uh, five minutes. Mariela? Sí. Mariela, no. you're muted. Se dice mute. You're still muted. Ahora sí, ahora sí te escuchamos. Now we can hear you. Now we can hear you. At a low volume, but. Well, the impact assessment for the version six of the, this. Uh, this is the interpretation by the staff of LACNIC. We understand that it applies to the elections for the chair of the PDP. And this changes two subsections that have to do with one with the chairs and the other with the elections. As to the previous version, Mariela, your volume is too low. Let's raise it. Is it better now? A bit better. So version 5 was the one that was being under debate. I'm going to now say the differences with version 6. Version 6 says that no expressions can be published in favor or against the candidates in the policy list that was not included in version 5. On the other hand, version 5 says that the election will take place always on day one uh, of the three months uh, before the term of the uh, chair that is leaving. And uh, now the version 6 says that the uh, election process will be done. Um, enough. Uh, um, uh, and uh, version plus is that within uh, 10 days, the community will have to provide information relevant on the candidates that must be published uh, after a uh, term of uh, 10 days, and the board may um, not accept the candidates. In the version, version six says that it can be over 10 days, but that it has to be submitted to, to the Board of Directors of LECNIC and the Board of Directors may publish this information or um, disqualify the candidate. Version five says that the uh, voting will take place the first uh, 
uh, working Monday, and it will last seven days. And uh, that, and the other one, uh, that it will um, not, uh, doesn't have to be uh, specifically on a working Monday. And uh, the time, version five, speaks of a tie break. And also that Lechnik will announce immediately the results both of the first round and the second one, while the second one Lechnik will announce as soon as possible. So those are basically the main differences as we interpret them. So these are our comments. Provide, uh, giving the Board of Director the power on uh, the convenience of uh, disseminating sensitive information about the candidates implies that in some occasions you may favor candidates where you decide not to publish it and uh, uh, have a negative impact on them if you decide to publish and hence to assume unnecessary risk for LACNIC. Hence, if the Board of Directors were to ratify, it could object this element of the proposal, so all of the proposal could uh, be uh, objected because the Board of Directors does not have editorial powers. Lechnik observes that during our experience, having two chairs of the same nationality has played no role in the role of the, the chair. So it has, that is what we wanted to say about the policy. And then we want to clarify a couple of interpretations that we make. For instance, the new text of the policy speaks of the chairs and incompatibility of a roads uh, in other positions. Lacknick interprets that the positions that are directly implied in the flow of the PDB are the, uh, are the chairs and the board of director. For global policies, those directly involved are the members of the ASOAC. The moderators cannot be from the same country or the same uh, uh, corporation or related corporation. Like Nick interprets that being of the same country, maybe because of nationality, but in the case of multiple nationalities of candidate, the candidate must choose the nationality. Uh, as to renewal of functions, LACNIC interprets that the chairs can only present as candidates to one consecutive election. In order to be candidate or chair or be part uh, of uh, the elections body, you must uh, be registered in the list at this at least six months before the starting of the elections. And LACNIC will take it approximately six months before the uh, elections uh, scheduled for the following year. Then about the elections, Jordi already mentioned this, and Lacknick interprets that uh, about the elections process. It will be the board of director or whoever is appointed by the board of director as uh, overseeing these elections. And finally, recommendations is uh, making reference to the risks mentioned in um, item number one of the section of the comments of the staff. It, what we recommend is to eliminate the possibility of publishing information of a candidate if this information was not provided by the candidate in question. So that would be all. It uh, wouldn't imply any changes. Thank you, Mariela. Thank you, Mariela. Now I'll go on. I think that uh, you must see it uh, there. Well, would, I'm, I'm going to make a comment about with only this slide, only the things that with which I disagree with the impact analysis. I agree with all the rest, and there are no doubts. The first of them is that the fact of providing the board the power, and I won't read the rest of the text, you, it, it is done exactly the same in another RIRs. And the text of other uh, in, um, in the past, we already mentioned it, and in the previous impact analysis, nothing was said about this. The current text is, is not uh, binding. So the board may ignore the uh, comments if they are irrelevant and may decide whether to publish them or not and to use them or not, etc. So there is not no such thing as incompatibility with in impact analysis. In addition, there is something that is quite striking. The fact that you say in this proposal that you can't ratify if an element does not agree in the board because you, the, the board doesn't have editorial powers. Nobody's telling about that. The text is very clear that uh, it, 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 it says it may 
It's not a, a command. It's not saying shall or should. Uh, so in previous fora, when an implementation or a ratification takes place, and uh, so you don't throw this proposal. So, and, and I agree that two nationalities have no problem. Here now we have two with the same uh, nationality, but there is no problem. But but, but it is not binding if there aren't any problems. Just the same as the general diversity. Bueno. Um, vamos a iniciar ahora el tiempo de discusión. Vamos. Now we're going to start the discussion. And I want you to express. Now we have an item. Remember that if you have any questions, there are no problems. But uh, if, uh, whether you agree in the proposal or not, please. Stated in the chat. So, remember what Ariel said to support uh, the policy and state whether you support it or not. Arturo Servín says. No creo que esta propuesta sea necesaria. No, I don't think that this proposal is necessary. It, uh, Acaba de llegar eh, otra eh, comentario. We just de... received a comment. Carlos, no vamos a dejar que Jordi conteste. A la... Sí, correcto. Yes. Sí, Let's perdón. give a chance. To, to Jordi to reply. Arturo, la comunidad Just, uh, se very quickly very reply to Arturo. Um, it's the community comment. that has responsibilities for PDP. The community and has the power, not the poor. And, uh, the community has the power actually with this proposal. What, do you what think they has think to be done and that what do should be done that, uh, and the, what they uh, think board of the board should do. decide on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I have the second, Fernando Frediani, who's also who written in Spanish. in Spanish. I am in favor of the proposal. We need to allow for more time to vote and to be voted for six months. For I think so this is the most important aspect of the, the proposal and also for the board to disqualify the candidate, the candidate the if the situation is justified. I think this is necessary for the PDP. Very, very quickly. Has, has leído lo de Ricardo, ¿verdad? You no, read what Ricardo said, right? No, not yet. Listo, eh, vamos con eh, la siguiente. Ricardo sí. Patara, que vive en, eh, so Calle let's go to the next one. Ricardo's written Spanish. Against the proposal, the initial idea is interesting to organize the process, but I think the text is rather complex. So how do we choose which country we'll all get? And it won't solve any main concerns. It just speaks about the responsibility of other LACNIC groups, and it is assigning LACNIC further responsibility to have to validate complaints and further responsibilities. So what is it complicated? As I told Arturo, I think it is clear that this is not made more complex. That is his opinion. And if you compare the text that we are proposing compared with the current text, there are no, um, I'm not making it a complex and we are not speaking about making any research or investigation either. Oscar Robles in Spanish, he said, the fact 
that the board has the discretionary opinion to publish or not information about a candidate generates a certain responsibility. And of course, we will be taking on significant risk whether we choose to publish or not. Oscar, very quickly, the board can just ignore that. It's not incompatible in that sense with the text. Of course, we should not ratify that proposal because of that if it reaches consensus. I added a link to a video where Oscar himself said the opposite with regards to another proposal. Ricardo, and I will read it in Spanish. Finally, there's no incompatibility because once global policies are, uh, ICANN is the one who will address the general policies, of course, but we can participate in the same process. So I did not say it explicitly that it's incompatible. That is the staff's uh, interpretation. If you think there is incompatibility, well, I have no problem. Carlos Arvin, it says in Spanish, the community can outsource to LACNIC. There's no problem with that or against. I mean, it's the same that I just said before, so I will not respond to that. Horacio Tedesco said, uh, and Artu, uh, replied to Arturo, and please don't do that. Let's not have a dialogue in the chat box. Cesar Labrador, Cesar Labrador, I support the proposal. I think it corrects the the problems in version five. My comment is regards to the voters. Maybe we can say that this uh, at least voters should have a minimum of three months participation in the list. So we don't choose, uh, we don't allow voters. Actually, Cesar did not notice that we are requesting six months, even more than he requested. We are more strict. Horacio, I think that, well, he's replying to Arturo, but I think he has something else to say. Yes, I'll read it. The board has already put the responsibilities on a third party and that has been done already this year. So I'm against. We need to remember that the community has the power. And we are not delegating the board, so maybe it is necessary they can delegated so the proposal is really now doing something that right now in theory we cannot do ricardo patara in spanish if we are adding asking LACNIC this, we are adding complexity and if we want LACNIC to address a complaint they need to investigate it for transparency and the responsibility to the community. So that would be a responsibility that LACNIC needs to take on. I, you can carry on reading because I think there are many questions that are related to this, so I can respond all of them at one. Ricardo says my last comment addresses a concern of the author with regards to the potential crimes and the candidate. So why is it that the author is not concerned about the Arin uh, candidates? I don't think that comment is correct. He doesn't know if I'm concerned or not. Actually, I am concerned about it. So let's just speak about the proposal. This is not to you, Jordi, in particular, but in general. Oscar. Oscar. Sensitive information doesn't entail taking, uh, making a decision. Yeah, let me address Oscar's comment and others. Again, the proposal says may, not it should. If you want to ignore that point in the proposal, we can do it. What we cannot do is when we do the impact assessment after previous version says that they must, in version six saying that we cannot ratify the proposal because of that, in the past it was mandatory. Now we can choose to do it. So the impact assessment is contradictory to the five 
uh, previous ones. I think we are short in time. The first one. Aldo Frediani in Spanish. This proposal has some checks and balances that are necessary to manipulate an electoral process. These are some of the problems that we need to address, and this is my opinion. Fernando had already expressed being in favor of the proposal. Um, vuelvo a, a insistir con lo que pide Carlos. Por favor, traten de hacer... So with uh, what Carlos was saying please keep your comments and your questions short so we can have a uh, more time for discussion in the forum so let's now try to get a feel of the room even though the zoom tool says this is a poll or voting this is not what we're doing we're just trying to get a feel of what the community things about this proposal. We are going to use comments in the mailing list and in the forum to, to assess consensus. But let's do the first poll. Remember that panelists cannot vote. And since last time, the authors will say, uh, I'm sorry, not voting, could not s express consensus and they cannot choose because they were panelists. So now we have changed Jordi's uh, status from panelist to attendee. And we will do the same with the next authors that participate. Okay, we'll have one more minute for people to say whether they are in favor, they are against, or they are abstain their, their vote for this proposal. Bueno, podemos cerrar el poll. Can we close the poll? Y en breve vamos a ver los resultados. We will look uh, at the results here in a minute. Bueno, muchas gracias al autor. Este, Thank you to the author. So the LAC 2019 7 version 6 chairs PDP. We're going to finish the discussions today, October 6, 2020. So from today, up to two weeks, all of the chairs will communicate the, to the community whether this proposal has reached consensus. So if you want to add further comments, please take part in the mailing list.